In this video, we'll be talking about what is Anki, what are flashcards, what is active recall, what is spaced repetition, and I'm actually going to do a few flashcards in front of you. Uh, so hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tanmay Bhandari and I scored an All India rank of 817 in this year's NEET PG and I used Anki for my preparation. I um, basically, so I've been doing this entire series about Anki. The first video was about how to download and install Anki. Since Anki is an open source app and not many people have used it and Anki has a little bit of a learning curve. So I've been doing an entire series where I try to teach you Anki and get started with Anki so that you can use Anki for your preparation. And since Anki is free and open source and all of the decks that are available are also made available for free by toppers. So definitely this is something that you should try. And this is not just a trend that is passing by. And this is something that will actually help you memorize whatever you're trying to study. So to explain it in extremely simple terms, Anki is a flashcard app that uses active recall and spaced repetition to help you memorize information. So there are various study techniques when it comes to studying. So when you watch videos, when you read notes that are called passive methods of studying, but uh, using active recall is basically you trying to actively recall information and that is considered far more superior of a study method than using passive methods of study. Um, using your notes and using your videos is a great tool to understand concepts and learn concepts but when it actually comes to uh, committing information to memory, when it actually comes to memorizing and revising information, Anki is an amazing tool. So Anki uses flashcards. So flashcards are basically um, like, you know, physical flashcards is a card where you write a question on one side and answer on the other. A great example that I use is uh, what is the powerhouse of a cell? Like the answer is mitochondria, right? So I asked you a question first and then you had to actively recall information and then um, you basically, um, you know, answered it and that is considered far more superior than just reading your notes. And what is spaced repetition? To understand what spaced repetition is, we will open the Anki app. So right now we are in Anki and as you can see, a question is asked in front of us. It is a fill in the blank type of statement. So I have to guess the fill in the blank. So uh, before uh, clicking on show answer, I have to um, click on um, uh, click uh, basically um, think of the answer in my head. So auditory brain brainstem implant is present in the lateral recess of the fourth ventricle. So the answer is fourth ventricle. I got this right. And right here, I see four options. One says again, one says hard, one says good, one says easy. So if to ch pick between, you know, while uh, rec uh, recollecting the answer, you have to pick how much of an interval uh, do you want this card. So basically this card is going to repeat after 20 minutes, um, 10 months, one year or 1.5 years. So depending on your ease of the card, you pick one option. Since this was pretty easy for me, I'll press good on this. But before I press good on it, I'll just show you what spaced repetition is. So um, on the um, X axis is the time duration and on the Y axis is the retrievability of the card. So first time I did the card was at 6.34 p.m. Um, on 16th February 2025. Then I did the card again after 20 minutes or so. Um, then I did the card again on 21st of February. Then I did it on 14th April. Then I did it on 13th May. So basically as I'm getting this card correct, because of the Anki algorithm, the card is being pushed further and further away. And the uh, intervals that are shown to me are shown further and further away. So this is what spaced repetition is. So basically easier pieces of information will be shown less often and difficult pieces of information will be shown more often. Um, I'll explain in detail how the Anki algorithm works and what workflow um, to use and how to actually review the cards and do new cards. So that is another question. But right now I'm pressing good on this uh, card. Dash is a nipped off portion of um, encephalocele at the time of um, de embryonic development. The, the, I know the answer. The answer is nasal gliomas. But suppose I did not remember this answer. So if I click on show answer, I'll uh, uh, choose an interval of 20 minutes because I want the card to be repeated in 20 minutes because I got it wrong. 
so like this is self explanatory do i want to do this again do i find it hard good or easy so after you do thousands of cards you get a hang of what to press for which card so that comes with practice so this is a completely different study method and people find it little difficult there is a learning curve to it but i give a really good example that um, uh, you know Uh, earlier when you were trying to learn cycling you felt like why should i learn cycling this is a completely different method from what i know you probably knew how to walk um so learning cycling had a little bit of a learning curve but it completely transformed your life and completely transformed how you travel like learning how to drive a car or drive a bike so like even if it has a little bit of a learning curve it is definitely going to save you a lot of time and it is going to make make you way productive because you will be studying the things that you find difficult more often and you will be using active recall and spaced repetition to study and i've been the and i've been asked the question is um, you know are other apps like revisable and any other app good so i will tell you that anki was an app originally made for language learning but soon the algorithm uh, caught the attention of med students and people in the us started using it ali abdal uh, ranked first in cambridge by using anki and that is where i learned about anki but in the past few day, uh, years like anki has evolved so much and um even indian neat pg and inict specific decks are available you can download the decks from my telegram like i had used decks from all india 5 54 and um, 70 so these are the people who actually you know made the decks and i've just compiled them for you subject wise so you can download any deck so basically deck is a collection of flash cards so i've arranged decks um subject wise so i'll explain how to you know uh i'll explain what decks are and everything else in the next video but for now um if you want to watch how to download anki you can watch this video right here or if you um you know want to know my journey with anki you can watch this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace